Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Joe and Four Kitchen where we just enjoy food. So let's enjoy some delicious sorrel fruit cake. We're gonna start by making our sorrel puree. So I have a half a pound of sorrel here and I'm using fresh sorrel. And guys, just look how pretty these are. So I've already washed these thoroughly and I'm gonna add them to my pots with a little bit of water. And all the measurements will be in the recipe that's linked in the description box below. And I'm gonna cook these until soft, which takes about five minutes. All right guys, so it has been five minutes and our sorrel petals are nice and soft, just the way we want them. So I'm gonna turn my flame off and then leave this to cool while I work on the rest of my ingredients. Our sorrel has cooled down pretty quickly and now I'm gonna puree this. And just look how rich this color is guys. Now I don't necessarily want this to be pureed extremely smooth so I'm gonna attempt to pulse it. If you have a food processor it should be a little bit easier for you to get it to that um, kind of rough consistency. And this consistency is perfect. Just like my soaked fruits. For the rest of my ingredients, starting off with my dry, I have my flour that's already sifted, as well as some baking powder, cinnamon, ginger powder. I think ginger complements the sorrel so well. Baking spice, same as mixed spice and nutmeg. I'm using freshly grated. I also have my sugar here and I'm using brown sugar as you can see. Now for my wet ingredients, I have my eggs here. Now I know that some persons like to add lime or lemon zest in order to cut that rawness. But the alcohol that's already present in this cake should take care of that. We have alcohol in our fruits and we're going to sprinkle on some of that same alcohol after we're done baking our cake. But if you're still apprehensive about your cake being raw, you can go ahead and add your lime or lemon zest to your eggs. I have my mixed fruits here and I'll link the video above as well as in the description to show you how I achieve this. And of course we have our sorrel puree that we just made. Now this amount of puree should come to about a cup. Well, this is actually a little bit over a cup but that's okay, we can give and take. We also have our vanilla extract and rose water and I'm just going to go ahead and add them to our eggs so that it's easier for us to incorporate a little later on. And lastly we have our margarine here which I've already partially melted over a double broiler. Now this is a little hack that I personally like to use. I think that this allows the butter and sugar to cream so much better and in way less time. And you can also use butter as well, either one will work. However, I recommend using salted butter because it works well in balancing out the sweetness of your cake. So I'm going to start by creaming my butter or margarine rather and my sugar. And I'm going to start my hand mixer on the lowest speed in order to incorporate everything and then turn it up to high in order to start creaming. And now I'm going to start creaming. And make sure that you periodically scrape down the sides. Alright, so we're done whipping our butter and sugar. This should take you no longer than about 5 minutes. And it should double in volume as you can see. The consistency should be light and fluffy like what we have here. And now I'm going to reduce my speed a little and gradually add the eggs.
and once those are fully incorporated i'm going to alternatively fold in my flour mixture and my fruits Also, now would be a good time to go ahead and preheat your oven. And I'm gonna finish off with a little splash of this white rum and a little of this red label wine. The same thing that we use to blend our fruits. And this smells so so good guys now if you're one of those persons that like that extra red velvet type of look you can go ahead and add some red food coloring now I don't really mind this color that the cake has so I'm not gonna add any and now I'm gonna add my mixture to my 8 inch cake tin which I've already greased and lined and make sure that you grease the sides as well And now I'm going to place this in my oven that I've already heated to 250 degrees. It's probably going to take me around an hour and a half based on how thick I've poured this cake. But we'll see. After exactly 1 hour and 45 minutes, we have our perfectly baked sorrel fruit cake. Now I alluded to this earlier on, you can actually bake it in less time. Just use a bigger cake tin and pour your cake a little bit less thick than I did or you can divide the batter and use two cake pans whichever you prefer now I'm gonna take a couple tablespoons of my same rum and wine and just spoon this on so while the cake cools it will absorb that flavor and this also helps it to remain moist now I'm gonna allow this to cool and then cut into it and show you guys what it's looking like Alright guys, so it's the following day and our cake has had more than enough time to cool and now I'm going to cut into it and show you guys what it's looking like. And you can definitely see the sorrel bits throughout our cake. Now remember, if you want more of that red velvet type of look, Go ahead and add your red food coloring. I really don't mind the natural color that the cake has. This cake was a definite hit. I have a traditional Jamaican fruit cake video that I believe you will love. I'll leave it here on the screen so you can check it out along with some more Jamaican Christmas holiday favorites. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and follow me on all my other socials which are all linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and until next time, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food.